Hello, insufferable gaming fans. Welcome back again. Time to head back to the library here and grab some of those items that I was talking about before, but so foolishly forgot to grab while I was here. I used a library card to work my ass back. Whoops. Oh well, look at that. There we go. Sometimes lightning is the best method for destroying books. Give it a save and head on through. I am not messing with those flea men. Not in the traditional sense, anyway. They will tear you up if you're not careful. Ugh, see what I mean? Using them as a springboard works pretty well, though. And a stone mask, which, let's see, we'll take a look at it. Yep, that's a fairly uh, decent item. And we can push this bookcase out of the way. To receive a topaz circlet and a holy rod. The holy rod lowers our attack, but there are certain enemies where it's really great. Any dark-based enemy will die quickly with the holy rod, which is a bit funny to think about since when you consider it, here in Dracula's castle pretty much everything is evil. But I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Sort of. Except when it's inconvenient for me to do so. Ah, Fleeman everywhere. Hate those little bastards. Did you see him? He was trying to dodge my attacks. Can't be having that. That takes care of that. Alright, here's an interesting enemy. He summons other enemies. Some of the enemies he summons, you can only fight here. So I'm gonna wait for him to summon the Mudman and kill one of those, so I can have it in my uh, enemy pile. It might take him a few, but it's the only way to get it. Ectoplasms! Really gotta get that Mudman. Not that it's important, and not that they drop anything good, but for the sake of completion. There we go. Mudman destroyed. Now we can finish off the boss. It's not a particularly difficult critter. Just gotta shoot him down in flames. And grab a life max up. Very nice. Whoops, don't want a stopwatch. The stopwatch is widely considered to be the worst item in the Castlevania series. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. And now, we can go just about anywhere. So let's start by heading back out of this area and grab ourselves a familiar. Also.
located in the long library. It is an uneventful walk. Up some stairs. Back to the right. Skulls bouncing everywhere. Go ahead and save again just in case. Luckily, this is not a game where you can save yourself into a corner. So I would recommend saving as often as possible. Nope, not that. Let's try this. There. Ah, cute. I'm being attacked by books. Books are faster than this bat. That got us up where I wanted to go for a few more items. Like the fairy card. That's a relic that we have to actively turn on. And what that does is it gives us a familiar which can be leveled up. This particular familiar is in charge of healing items. It's the one I use the least, but it has its advantages. Now let's head on back out of the long library and we can either go to Orlox's lair now or back underground. So where will I go? Let's uh let's decide and find out. Okay. Remember folks when I said before that the stopwatch was a completely useless item? Well that's not entirely true because if you go to this room with it and use it, you can get that critter out of the way. And obtain some more items, like the Alucard shield, and a heart max up. And the Alucard mail and the Alucard sword. Now, these are all fake items. Kind of like Excalibur in the Final Fantasy series. They don't do anything very good, but that's where they are if you want to grab them. Oh yeah, and before I forget, you can also hop up here now that we have the bat power up. Let's see what we can find. Ah, there we go, the gravity boots. That is a hugely useful item, because it'll take us far up and away without having to use the bat. Also up this way, some items that our fairy familiar can use. Very useful, those. The gravity boots are the best part of the whole deal, though. Well, while I decide where to go from here, I'll, uh, just leave it at that for now, so until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.